was helpless. I requested the military to open their camps to allow people who want to donate rehab houses. China is about to complete Sobrosa. Walang hambog, walang news, no, neither in a publicity. It's about to be completed. It would house 1,400 drug addicts in Fort Magsaysay. Doon. Matatapos na. You, instead of helping us, you know very well that I entered the presidency midterm. And I was operating now on a budget that is not mine. This is Aquino's budget. Next year pa yung again. Because, you know, I enter midterm, June. But a budget is prepared for the whole year. Who'd ever thought? I know that it was a problem. Of course, in Dabao, there were extrajudicial victims. I would not deny that. But it is not a policy. It only becomes an extrajudicial issue if it is the policy of a state to kill criminals. That was not. Otherwise, I would not have... You know, I lose two policemen every day all over the country. On the average. Because they fight back. That's what I said. Why are you... Because... That garbage started in Davao. It was a political issue. Everybody, everyone who died here, <laughs> no one suspect, automatically would term it salvage victim. So it was carried on to a national concern. Remember United States, Mr. Obama. It was never an issue against me during the entire election. And you can ask anybody, even your embassy personnel and your intelligence here and everywhere. It was not an issue against me. It only became an issue when I was hitting the ratings of 32. And it stayed there. Then Trillanes and the, uh, the barking dogs started late and even invented bank accounts. You are all connected with the uh, banks, you, 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 the rich guys here. You can ask the bank. They are not also willing to come up with the open statement, so you can ask them. Think that If there are billions there, I will resign. You, you just ask the manager, it's hey, a computer. Lang yan, eh. And you would know how much as the manager, just the computer. Between you and the manager, you open the computer. Yan, dinala yan ang issue when I was already up in the ratings. So it was carried by the left and until now, yun. Sabi nila mga oligarchs, I don't give a shit. Sabi nila na uh, itong isang kolumnista dito was based outside of the Philippines. He keeps on warning me about uh, getting ousted by people power tell you what. I'll tell you the secret of life. Me, all of my expectations have, in my youth, in, my, in the days of my youth, no. my expectations go balik tag. I never wanted to be mayor. I just wanted to be judge. I told the late Mr. Ayala, Sabi, I can pinch hit for somebody, for my mother, because my mother refused to be vice mayor. And yung anak na lang. So, they got me from City Hall. Ah, uh, yeah. Yung building. It's owned by the city. But national employees kami. Then I became a I never wanted to be one. Why? Because my father was governor of this place one, one time. I never liked his life. Kaya pati ang pamilya ko sumabog. I never wanted to be congressman. But I became one. I only wanted to be the top prosecutor because that is the love of my life. Prosecuting people in court. I never wanted to be president. I was not there to file my certificate until the last day. 
then as a substitute because I was pounded on by several people. President Ramos was one of them. Came back and forth and dabbed to, to the point just chastising me for refusing to serve my country. All of these things. Now I'm president, I tell you. Please listen very carefully. Lahat kayong mga media dyan. I don't give a damn of what happens to me. I'll tell you, I am staking my life, my honor, and the presidency. If that is my destiny, ousted, killed, but I think honor, I shall have it. So never, there never, there will never be a situation that you catch me stealing even a piece of your money. But there will be more deaths. I promise the Philippines to end the drug problem because it will. If I do not do it, then the next generation of Filipinos will be compromised. Your children who are now in grade school, yung sa college, Solana, maybe. And six million is no joke. They're scattered or over the Philippines. But what is the most important, Mr. Obama, EU, and human rights, is this. In the tradition of the South American states which failed, my country now is a narco-politics thing. God damn it, you better listen. There are about 5,000 barangay captains and about 3,000 police officers into drugs. The portals of the national government has been open to narco politics by the election of the Lima. Until now, she plays coy. She does not want to admit her immorality. When, as a matter of fact, Diane and her craze for sex made it possible for her to be corrupt. Ayaw niyang ag she never denied about snippets of throat. Snippets of truth. <laughs> Yun ang dahilan bakit pumasok ang narco politics. Because of her sex excessive sexual desire, she had to compromise. She compromised. Eh. Hindi lang naman si Diane eh. You must have heard Sebastian. The one that the guy who is, she stayed in the Kobol for four hours. I will say, magpagmasahe ka lang, walang mangyari. Kung ako ang preso na hindi nakakatikim ng babae, basi yung walang ngipin. Daiban mo Lukuhin ito, she, 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 she always throwing it. The, the, the drug problem that I will, I'm willing to be shot. Okay, I'm telling you, this is what happened. If you kindly remember. I was summoned by the Senate. Remember, I was summoned by the Senate to testify on rice smuggling. You remember that? Well, okay, I testified there. And I said that this was the one. Because nobody was willing. Galing dito hanggang Manila. Nobody. No idiot in this government nakilala si Bangayan. So I went to the intelligence community. Sa Aguinaldo, sabi ko, wag ninyo akong bulayin. Bigyan ninyo ako ng the face of. Because I'm supposed to. Sabi niyo, wala, mayor eh. Wag, ni, putang ina, wag ninyo akong lukuhin. Wag tayo maglukuhan dito. So the next day, it was delivered to the hotel, doon sa desk. So I testified. Sabi ko, ganun, ganun. Sabi ni Enrile, if you find Bangayan in your city, what will you do with him? Go for stealing 7 billion of the people's taxes, money, 
I'll see them dead. Then ito si Jenggoy, ever the smart alert, sabi niya, ando, nakinig kayo. Ah, ano, 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 ano. He was trying to play with his eyes. Ano, 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 ano. Sabi ko, buti lagi, napriso ka tuloy. Ano, 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 ano gawin mo? Sabi ko, Senator, I'll give you the statement that you'd like to hear. Patayin ko yan. So after that, si Obam, si Dilema, taking offense. Right after, may maraming ganito. Pati si Dilema na tulilig eh, pag nakita ito, ano-ano kayo ang tingin nyo nito? Well, of course, already it brought, pero kapag kinakarga pa yan, gano'n yan eh. Double barrel. One after the other. Sabi niya, you know, Duterte threatened and uh, it's not good. And uh, Sid Sumi, she was there. So I, I, I prepared a statement before you remember, but I was kept on looking at her. Eh, nakadungo lang siya. Sabi niya, she, I should be sued. So ko, ay, nilima. Akala ko ba abogado ka? The only body who can question me and the only person who can maybe put me to task would be the senators and the Senate itself as a collegial body. Nobody but nobody outside of that Senate can question me. Ang mga senador lang ang kasi. Sabi ko, do not waste your time on me. I remember what May problema ka kasi sa munting lupa Nagluluto na sila ng Cebu. But she was so arrogant with her power and she thought that yan, yan ang mahirap. Yan. It will last forever. Lahat kayo, there is, if there is one thing in life that I'd like to keep you in mind, remember this, miscalculation. Very important. In whatever Awayin mo, asawa mo, you carried it too far, and miss, you calculate everything. Bantayan mo yung word, miscalculation. Wala maraming nakaanam. Ako, at my age, at 71, nakuha ko na. A little bit of wisdom. Not really a big one. But lahat ng diskarte ko pumalpak. Because of miscalculation. Even sa negosyo. Do not be careful with that word. Dilema miscalculated everything. She thought that it never come out, openly creating uh, something like this. Even carrying an affair in the full view, pagawa ng bahay sa boyfriend niya. Saan kumuha ang pera yung boyfriend niya? Look at, I am not trying to, look at the sartorial elegance of the earlier photos of the tsaka yung mga burluloy. In the days of the human rights, tignan mo yung damit niya. Tignan mo yung mga alahas niya. Make a comparison. It's yours. Hindi ba pigilan niya? Lahat na bumagsak, lahat na bumagsak itong corruption, magandang bahay, magandang kotse, may miscalculate eh. Para bang hindi ito malaman ng tao. I miscalculate even your neighbors. Makakita sila may Mercedes ba dyan, may mga gandang kotse na. It is always miscalculation. Bantay kayo dyan. Sa girls, ganon rin. Ma-miscalculate mo. Kala mo mabait kasi kung niligawan mo ang pasos. Kala mo... So there will never be a time I would have to quarrel with this woman, lady. She is very good, gentle and everything. Pagdating ng panahon, dinosaur pala ang ugali. O dinosaur, if you want to. Call it. Pagkakanigawa ma, ay sos, ang bait. Parang pumahinhin. 
ਹਵਾਕਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਪਨਕ ਮੈਂ ਉਹ